happy Friday. Okay, so let's close out the weeks with something just nice and juicy and um, a great way to start the day every day because we're going to do cat cow. This is something that's often probably every single time you've been into a yoga class queued at the beginning of class. It's a great way to start the day and it's just going to, and it's great for spinal mobility, um, just posture, uh, back pain relief. So we're going to get into it. Okay. And adding a couple of other things. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming on live. We're doing cat cow. So get into all fours, stack hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, hands are flat on the mat, your middle fingers pointing forward so that your wrists are parallel to the front wall, the wall in front of you. And this is your stance, okay? This is your base right here. We're gonna, we're gonna actually curl our toes under. So we're in a, um, is it a dorsiflex? We're in a dorsiflex of our feet. And we just move straight into cat-cow, okay? So inhale, we're gonna drop the belly down to the floor. So we have that nice little arch in our that low back. And we're gonna inhale, and maybe the chin lifts up just slightly. Take that inhale breath, and then we're exhaling the cat. I like to do a nice open mouth exhale to cat. Dome the upper back, and almost like you're thrusting the hips forward. Bring, bring them like to collapse the belly. We're pressing the core, holding it firmly onto the spine, like gluing it onto the spine. So really collapse the belly, think about that. Opening up the upper back, and then back to cat. Inhale. Exhale to cat. You can breathe through the nose, in and out. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we're gonna add a couple things, just organic movement, whatever feels good here. I like to go back to the, to sit on the heels and just kind of like open that up, open up the, the arches of the feet. I like to go forward, and just kind of like move my hips, sway them side to side, do a nice little roundabout. If you do one side, go the opposite direction gotta stay even if this is not nice on your knees put a folded blanket or fold fold the mat so that you've got some cushion there if it's not good at all to be on the knees then you can also you can also do this standing up so like you're like this and you're just kind of moving into those postures right standing up so back down on all fours, we're in organic movement, it feels good, maybe resting the head, let it just hang. This is also good for blood circulation, so think about that, your blood's just kind of moving. And it's just so simple of movement, but so beneficial to do every morning that I highly recommend it. And then whatever you feel, just kind of stay there, stay there with it. Breathe into any tension, any pain, as long as it's pain that's like, you know, okay, I could, this is manageable pain. This isn't like sharp pain. This is dull pain, just kind of my muscles needing to open up, needing to get oxygenated, needing the blood flow. Okay, so back to your base, neutral spine, flat back. So we're on our hands. Let's try doing um, some wrist openers. So I like to go opposite side, just one hand. Take your right hand, place the back of your hand onto the mat. Our fingers are spread wide to protect the wrist and just gently start to place pressure onto the hand, onto the wrist. So, and I even like to move my fingers. So this is opening the wrist because we do so many things with our wrists in the other way. We're constantly like this if we're taking the yoga class or just really on our computers or whatever that you wanna do the opposite stretch. So breathe into that, one hand at a time. So now the opposite hand. Breathe. And if it feels good, point the eye of the elbow forward. So you're almost like twisting your bicep and your tricep around the arm. Okay, and then slowly, slowly and gently, just kind of move the wrist 
to reset. I didn't do it for this one, so slowly move the wrists to reset. And get your shoulders out of your ears as I'm looking at myself do it. Long neck. One last thing, why not? We're gonna strengthen the core here, and we're gonna move directly from all fours into cat and bring the right knee into the chest. Here we're gonna breathe out that really powerful warrior breath out of our mouth, okay? Let's do it three times. Back down. Find that dome and that core, strengthen. That dome in your upper back and the core is strengthened. And down, I think that was three, one more. Okay, all right, so now the opposite side. And I like to extend the foot. So the foot that's lifting, extend it out. A plantar flex in the foot. That was three. And that's it. Nice. Oh my gosh, one last thing I like to do. <laughs> so we're in a, like a hero's pose with our low half. Our upper half, we're bringing into prayer hands. And we're just opening up the, the armpits. Um, I mean, a little bit of the shoulders are opening up here, definitely the upper back, and just breathe. And that's it. Enjoy. Have a good Friday. See you Monday. Peace.